My work is all nature-based. I don't use any synthetics. And most of my materials are something I've gathered from nature. I've grown myself. And a few things I actually purchase. My message has always been about nature, but I wanted to change to be holistic in my process. So I chose chia seeds as my natural adhesive. I also use natural gums and saps. As far as colored in my work, I use natural dyes. So things like hibiscus flower or raw indigo, raw fermented indigo leaves. I actually get shipped to me. I use also plants that I have found that can produce color. I do a lot of research on this sort of thing. So if I find a plant that I've read about and I've never tried it before, I'll gather up some of their leaves, bring them up, crush them up, and have like, I have small batches of color all over this. You know. Oftentimes the materials for my work will go through a freezing process to get rid of any mites or bugs that might break them down so that they can actually become archival. So a lot of times they'll keep their color that way and they, I've had pieces last for up to 10 years now. My upcoming show at the Gallery at the Cultural Center in Miski is called Hello Andromeda. The body of work is going to be about galaxies, spiral galaxies in general, and the act of them colliding. And I take that concept not just on its base, uh, form, but I extrapolate it to ideas of what does it look like when humans collide, when cities collide, when neighborhoods collide. So not just our next door galaxy colliding with our own Milky Way galaxy, but what does it look like when two homes collide, when two families marry into each other and collide. I take time to meditate before I work. That way I know that my brain is clear and I can think properly. And my imagination can run at full speed. After meditation, my heart is just booming with love um, for nature, for people, for myself. And so yes, every time I touch these works, they're imbued with love, and often the viewer can feel either love or some deeper spiritual connection to the universe, I hope. And I've been told, so hopefully that's the case. <laughs>